Hello kids, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we'll continue with our party animal game that we have left off with the uh, scratch introduction. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a few changes to the game today where we're going to make the uh, add the dog, the bat uh, in the background for this game so that you know make it a little bit more animals, right? Uh, because this is an animal party game. Uh, game. So also we're going to change a little bit with the music. Uh, don't like this music uh, playing in the back. It's uh, really loud with this drum and um, a cymbal. So we're going to try something different. We're going to change the music out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all this. Uh, as you can see, there's a little weight here in between. So we're going to have to put the weight back into the, uh, the steps so that it will look a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to move the weight here back. Uh, 0.25, which we did, right? And then we can kind of move these back in. And then maybe we can duplicate this here. Um, and then uh, we'll change this uh, forward. 10 step. Then we'll do a minus 10 step. We'll duplicate this again. And we'll do a minus 10 step. So let's, uh, let's remove that. Remove all this. So let's stop this. So we have a uh, moving forward 10 step. We uh, 0 0.525 second moving forward 10 step. We again go back. Uh, so basically going back and forth. Okay. So we start again. You can see kind of the cat going back and forth on the stage a little bit. Okay. So we're going to add our music back. So this what we can do. We can click on sound. Here we can say uh, select the uh, choose a new sound. And maybe you can type in uh, dance or something. Okay, so here we have a different dance song. You can hover over it. So as you hover over it, it kind of plays the sound. So you can choose uh, any dance song that you like. Uh, we can choose this one for now. So uh, this is more energetic. So let's after we choose that, we're going to go back here. We're going to create another. Uh, when green flag is clicked because actually the song play kind of long so you don't want to add it into any of this block if you do it kind of messed up the game so I can show you that in a bit so let's go to control again we'll add a forever loop so and then you go to sound and as you can see right it says something like play the sound uh, then energetic until done so that means like the sound will play for how many ever second or minute this this song has so if you actually put this in here it will actually blocks the uh, cat from moving until the sound is done so let me just kind of show you uh, that let's just play this for once so as you can see the cat is kind of dancing with the music in the back so let's say if we did not have it a separate forever loop and we put it like say in here or something like that so you it will be a problem as you can see so it's kind of getting stuck you see that so it doesn't look good right so that's why you don't want to do that so you do not want to put that into the same uh, for loop because the song may be longer so you have to keep it on the side so now that we have uh, fixed it the cat uh, uh, movement and then added a different song so now we're done with the cat so now next what we can do is we're going to add the uh, other sprite so what you can do is go back here let's do a search so now we're going to add the dog type dog so we have this dog we're going to add him to the to the to the screen so let's say we move him over here so so that what we can do is we're going to make him kind of run back and forth in here right so we're going to start with this um go back to the event uh when green flag is clicked meaning that whenever player click on this green flag this code will execute so we're going to have another forever loop to put in here so let's say uh, we're going to move the dog 10 step and then what we want to do is when it get to the edge, we want to bounce. So um, if on edge bounce, meaning if the dog run all the way over here, it will bounce back. So why don't we try this and see what happen? Uh, also, uh, before we do it, let's change the costume as well. So we're going to create another one here. Uh, I should make this bigger, actually. Sorry about that. Let me make this bigger. I always forgot about that. So uh, it's easier for everyone to see. So here uh, we're gonna make it um, 
another forever loop here. So uh, this time we're going to change the custom just like how we did with the cat, right? Changing the custom. So, so it looks like the dog is running. So we're going to put a little bit weight here. Uh, go back to here. Control. Um, you can say weight uh, 0 0.2 second. Okay, so now if we run it, you can kind of play, uh, look at the dog, see what happened. So as you can see the dog, what happened to the dog? Oh, the dog is messed up, right? It's kind of running incorrectly. It's flipped it over, right? So you see how the dog is flipped over? So that's not what we want, right? So we want to make sure that the dog is actually going to run uh, correctly, right? So uh, what we can do, we can fix that. So what we can do, we'll move the dog back to this position. So maybe before we start, we're going to move him to this position. As you can, when you drag this, you can see this change. So what you can do is you can first drag the dog and then you can move this over here. So now we're going to make the dog start at this position. One more thing is the dog is uh, rotating, right? So we don't want him to do that. Click on this uh, here. Click on this. You see this? Um, there's a one button in the middle. Select this. So this one will not make the dog rotate. So the dog only bounce back and forth. So now we're done. So let's save it, run it again. So as you can see, the dog is running back and forth, right? It's not flipped over, so which is what we want. Okay, so we got the dog uh, going. So now let's try to add the bat where we can glide the bat around the, the, the stage as well. So let's try that, we'll type in bat. Okay, we have this bat here. And if you want a different custom with the bat, maybe you can choose another one. Oh, I guess we don't have another one. I think the old scratch has a different bat looking bat, but I think this one does not. Let me just try again. Okay, so we only have this bat. That's fine. Oops. Okay, so we only have this bat. So we'll go back. Okay, so in here we have the bats. Uh, the bats, uh, what we want to do is uh, we can make them a little smaller if we want. We can put 50%. So the bat is a little bit smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the bat kind of glide around. So we can put the bat starting from this position. So in here, we can go back to event uh, on clicked. We can say, okay, move the bat to this position. Okay. And then say uh, we already set the size. If not, you can also do this right here. You can say set, uh, uh, set size here. If let's say you did not change it here, you can change it over here as well. So let's say you say change it to 150%. Uh, let's say we put this 100% back. So you see how the bat is small, but when we click on this, it will actually make the bat smaller. You can see, you see? So the bat actually is smaller. So because of this code, you can do it with a code or you can do it over here. So same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a forever loop. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to point the bat uh, at 90 degree so that, you know, the bat will be flying this way. Uh, because if the bat is, uh, you see how he, he this way, he's kind of like this way. I think some of the uh, the bats, like this is not a good example, actually. Uh, let's say, let's let's change the, the sprite because I'm going to show you this. Uh, let's change the sprite. Let's use the bat. Let's use the butterfly. Okay, let's use this butterfly. I think this is better. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the code actually over. So what we can do is drag this code. You see how it's kind of moving, moving, just let go. So now the code get copied over here. So you don't have to type again. So you can now you can trash the bat. So now we're the butterfly. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the butterfly go up and then back. So what we're going to do is we're going to put him into a direction. So we're going to point to 90. So as you can see, you see here 90 
and then you can go negative 90, you see his head's in the front. So what we're going to do is we're going to move, when he's flying this way, his head is going to point this way. When he's flying back this way, his head's going to point this way. So we're going to set the right now 90, so which is pointing to the right. So we're going to say glide. Let's say we want the butterfly to start here, right? This is 161, let's say negative 161. As you can see, negative 161, right? So we can probably make him go up. So you see this one change. So now we're gonna say glide one second to here. And then maybe we can say over here. Then we'll say glide one second to this location. And then finally, we're gonna go over here. And then we'll say glide one second to here so now the butterfly will be moving like this right so what we're going to do is we're going to make him go back so what we can do is uh, we're going to turn him around say point in direction uh, negative 90 so as you can see it's pointing to the left now so then we're going to glide him back all the way over here where he start from so i'm going to say glide to this one you can change it to two seconds if you want so now if I run it, you can actually see the bat is kind of go like this, so up, go across, go down, and it will turn around and it'll come back here. Okay, so let's save this and let's run this and see. So as you can see, the butterfly is moving. So, oh, you see how it's rotated? So that's not what we want, right? So that's not what we want. So what we can do is, you remember what we did with the dog? Go over here, select this. Now let's start it again. So you see the butterfly is kind of going this way, you know, turn around, you know, fly back. So as you can see, this is correct. So if we don't do it correctly, we can see the butterfly actually turn around because we put a negative 90 pointing direction, which is left side. So what we have accomplished, this is a really simple game where you have a couple of sprites on the screen. We added some music and we kind of learn about the direction, right? How to point left and right. and um, depending on where you're facing from, right? So that's about it for this uh, game. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, like and share uh, so that uh, everyone can also learn. Thank you. Bye bye.